Before we start exploring specific types of communities, let's first define what a community is. A community is a social unit with commonality such as norms, religion, values, customs, or identity. Communities may share a sense of place situated in a given geographical area or in virtual space through communication platforms. Human communities may share intent, belief, resources, preferences, needs, and risks in common, affecting the identity of the participants and their degree of cohesiveness. Community is recognized as a distinctive social system that impacts and informs an individual's life through various influences and organizational factors. It is as much an environment as it is a set of relationships or even a feeling. Apart from being locational, a community can also be relational, meaning that members share a deep sense of community that does not depend on their whereabouts. The type of community changes what happens in the community. A common mistake is not to align what happens in the community with its type. Before we begin, let's be clear about what we mean by community. We mean a group of people that have developed relationships around a strong common interest. The community category is the category of that common interest. Because traditional psychology examines people on a fairly individual level, community psychology seeks to understand them within the context of their communities. Oftentimes, community psychologists will view their subjects with varying levels of analysis, the majority of which reference different types of communities. Below are five levels of analysis used for research in community psychology and the corresponding types of communities that may be associated with each. As you may have guessed already, an individual is not a community but rather its subject and agent. In terms of its focus, this is the narrowest level for analysis. The main consideration for this level is examining how an individual interacts with his or her community and vice versa. Microsystems are the most intimate groups with which an individual participates, engages, and grows. As you can see, most microsystems refer to the places and people an individual visits and interacts with on a regular basis. Beyond the level of microsystems is organizations. This level is comprised of the institutions that often contain an individual's microsystems. These institutions can, depending on their own processes, influence either microsystems or the individual through various linkages. Of all these levels of analysis, macrosystems are the broadest and, to a degree, the most intangible. Macrosystems encompass a wide range of behaviors and ideas characterizing community systems that are more universal in their scope. Community psychologists must consider multiple levels of analysis when conducting research. By understanding these five levels and their corresponding types of communities, a community psychologist can successfully discern how to serve their communities in the best possible ways.